at the Motorrad Mess in Landshut, the Harzer Bike Schmied proudly presented a remarkable engineering feat, a motorcycle with a staggering 38,000 cubic centimeters of engine displacement. Officially recognized in the Guinness Book of Records, this extraordinary creation holds the title of the world's heaviest motorcycle. What makes it even look to unconventional design and the limitless imagination of custom motorcycle bikes. Before you stands a machine that has witnessed a century, the Sunshine Auto Header. Brought back to life at the 2014 centenary of the Laura Agricultural Bureau, this isn't just a harvester. It's a time traveler on wheels, a living piece of history that marked the beginning of Australia's journey into agricultural mechanization. Built in 1914 and still running strong, it speaks not just of innovation but endurance. The engine roars as it rolls into the field, not as a museum relic, but as a working legend. It cuts, threshes, and gathers with a rhythm that feels timeless. Watching it in action is more than impressive. It's oddly moving. Every turn of its wheels reminds us that great design isn't just about efficiency, it's about lasting impact. Then, suddenly, it stops. A small blockage in the elevator. A pause, not a failure. And here's the beauty. This moment shows what farming has always been. Part science, part grit. A few checks, a couple of skilled hands, and the machine surges back to life. It's real, it's raw, and it's exactly what makes this restoration so powerful. Among the crowd of 85 onlookers, something unspoken lingers in the air. Pride, memory, and a sense of connection. The Sunshine Auto Header doesn't just return, it returns. It reminds us that heritage isn't locked away in museums. It's out here, where the dust rises and the crop falls, exactly where it belongs.
Vessel the Mall Polar Sleep Wreck, located in Weskin's Graf, is a historic diesel-powered pumping station built in 1923. Designed to manage water levels in the low-lying Dutch polder of Sleep Wreck, this station stands as a testament to early 20th century engineering and the Netherlands' ongoing battle against water. At the heart of the pumping station is a robust diesel engine, originally built to operate reliably under demanding conditions. The engine is started using compressed air, stored in high-pressure tanks, and released to initiate the engine cycle. The system operates with a compressor that builds up sufficient start air pressure for a A common practice is large stationary diesel engines of that air. Once built to power Union Pacific's rolling refrigerators across the American West, the Detroit Diesel 2 to 71 was never meant to be glamorous, just unstoppable. Born in 1961, this two-stroke legend rumbled faithfully inside freight cars, humming its gritty mechanical tune mile after mile. Decades later, 
it would find itself in an unlikely place, sitting quietly in someone's eBay cart for just $500, waiting for a second shot at life. wasn't dead, just sleeping. With a few tools, some grit, and a healthy dose of diesel-stained optimism, the new owner brought it back from the brink. Fuel lines cleared, injectors freed, a blast of ether, a cough, a puff of smoke. And suddenly, the beast was breathing fire again. One cylinder at a time, it came back to life. Rough, smoky, leaky, but alive. Like any true classic, it didn't just run, it roared with pride proving that good engineering never truly dies. Just waits for the right hands to turn the key. Did you know, the 1967 Lister JS3 is a rare three-cylinder diesel engine known for its high-speed performance at 1500 RPM, surpassing the earlier JP series. It features upgraded lubrication with oil feed pipework to the rocker shaft, eliminating daily greasing. Retaining the JP's compression changeover valves, the JS3 stands out for its enhanced RPM and reliability. This genuine marine unit originally used the Blackstone gearbox, later replaced by a PRM 260. It produces 43.5 horsepower at 1500 RPM. You might already know this, but the Deutz jet turbine water pump is a powerful, high-capacity unit designed for rapid water movement in flood control and irrigation. Powered by a Deutz diesel engine, it uses jet turbine technology to deliver high flow rates with efficiency. Its robust construction and reliable performance make it ideal for demanding field operations and emergency response. You know, the Obelco SK220 Mark III is powered by the robust 6D15 turbocharged engine, a six-cylinder diesel engine known for its durability and strong performance. This engine delivers reliable power and fuel efficiency, making it ideal for heavy-duty excavating tasks. 
with a turbocharger, the 6D15 enhances airflow and combustion efficiency, resulting in increased horsepower and torque. Its smooth operation and high torque output and low RPM ensure optimal productivity even under tough working conditions. The engine is designed for long service life and easy maintenance, contributing to the overall efficiency and reliability of the Covelco SK220 Mark III excavator. The Tatra 603 isn't just a car, it's a Cold War oddity on wheels. Hand-built in Czechoslovakia, and reserved strictly for high-ranking officials, this sleek machine is powered by a rear-mounted, air-cooled V8 engine. Yes, a V8 in a government sedan, cooled by air, not water. It growled softly, but pulled with purpose, cruising socialist highways with unexpected grace and engineering bravado. The Doxford engine was a two-stroke, opposed piston marine diesel engine developed by William Doxford and Sons. Known for its efficiency, reliability, and ability to run on heavy fuel oil, it featured twin pistons per cylinder and powered many ships in the 20th century, marking a major engineering achievement. 